All right, hello to all of my Libras. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Libras. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. This reading is for the 25th of February through the 25th of March. You may be watching it on Saturday. All right, Libras. Libras, Libras, Libras. I'm going to give you the question for the moon in Libra. So happy full moon in Virgo. Hopefully you are meticulously closing out, you know, that phase and moving into the next phase, into this next uh, part of this moon phase. So um, the full moon phase is the most celebrated of the moon phases. And so sources saying whatever rituals you used to do, you know, like uh, um, uh, harvesting herbs at this time or uh, supercharging your, or charging, excuse me, not supercharging, but charging your gemstones and crystals, making protective amulets. You can continue doing that, right? Um, but also a modern day ritual, you know, could be just kind of like writing a letter of gratitude to the past of whatever you may have been holding on to. If you've been holding other people's weight, you know, people who are always complaining or people who are not happy with themselves. If you've been holding on to that, that may be something you want to part ways with. Let's get into it, Libras. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. We also have a digital calendar and also a digital a digital um, journal below. The link is below for those people who are interested in that as well. You can also pull your birth chart. I have a link to pull your birth chart below as well. So here we have the Knight of the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. We also have the Knight of Pentacles and also the Six of Swords, right? So Source is saying right here, right off the top, right off top, you're going through a rite of passage, and Source is trying to tell you to stay away from certain types of energies. Um to get focused, like somebody is incredibly smart. Obviously, you are Libras, very smart. I'm talking to you wherever Libra is in your birth chart, but you're incredibly smart. Like stay away from energies that try to cut people's power and intellect down. Like this is you on your way back to your throne of helping other people to adjust their crown. So stay away from those types of energies. They're always in this, they're always in cutting people down mode, right? And so you have an ancestor, someone has trans somebody who has transitioned on the other side that's helping you to get away from these types of energies. We also have the six of cups. Somebody is passing the baton to you. They're saying you got a lot of gifts and talents. You know, don't squander those gifts and talents being around people who um, like to sit around and gossip about other people. You know, try to air out people's business or try to air out people's stuff. Like sources saying, get from around. You got work to do. This is the year of wealth, right? Here we have the ace of cups, right? So I was just saying, as you are flushing those uh, types of energies out, right, you're also learning how to pour back into yourself, doing things that you love to do creatively to also help to flush all of those things out. So here we have the Knight and Ace of Pentacles. And so what do you got to ask? What is the motive? The motive is time, right? What is the motive that people like to, you know, air, since we're talking about air, airing people's you know, passed out or like airing people's business out because sources saying to you, if you stay around those types of people, how long do you think it's going to take before they air about what you know, they know about you out, right? So you definitely have loved ones on the other side that's helping you to get away from those types of energies. Um, and just like other people were able to get away from them. So that's what I'm seeing for you so far. So because those energies, when we talk about Knight and Six of Swords, they like to play games. For them, it's a game of chess, you know, they like to play games and it's two types of energies. Like I'm seeing here in the cards, there's two types of energies. The source is saying, get away from them because it's, it's tempting. I'm looking at the ace and six of cups right here. It's very tempting to be around them because you gain more information about things. But w w when you're in their crosshairs, that's what source is trying to tell somebody, both in your family and outside of your family, when you're in their crosshairs, you don't even feel good about it. It actually makes you almost sick to your stomach. You may end up start crying. Like, I can't even believe I'm sitting around. I'm too smart for this. Why am I even listening to this kind of stuff? Why am I even breathing that same kind of air, right? Here we have the star card, right? And you are you were born to inspire. So star card is a 17 card in tarot. That's the, light, the number eight, right? Eight is the money exchange number. Those types of energies... Um... um those types of energies, um, um, they have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior, or they are egotistical, uh, materialistic, and forceful. So it needs you to get away from those types of energy because your star is shining bright and just being associated with those types of energies. 
I, I, it's, it's some types of it's like sometimes people don't believe that if they detach from certain types of energies that they won't get caught up it's like somebody is guilty by association being associated with those types of energies and your star is starting to shine brighter and brighter and brighter and um and there it is, King of Pentacles. Source is trying to make you very wealthy. So when Source puts you across the path of people who are on their throne and they don't have anything negative to say, it doesn't mean that they don't have a past. Everybody has a past. Source is saying everybody on their way to pure consciousness has to gain life experiences and you stumble and make foolish decisions and those kind of things. Source is trying to help you to stay away from that now because you're pushing yourself further away from, back from this right here. Those types of energies like to compare people. So if somebody creates something and you create something, they always make it a versus. They're not, they're not ever in alignment. Their head and heart are always at war. It, it's just sources saying you're, you got an ancestor that's helping you to move on from that. So, yeah, so good for you. And, and sources trying to fast track you somewhere. Like sources trying to, sources saying if you put some effort to get away from those types of energies, I will speed up your um, king of pentacles and also your... Um, king of swords and your king of cups and also king of wands. I'm going to speed up some things for you. If you can just get away from those types of energies. Because again, so it's just saying stay connected to other people who have star power. It may take them, like I said, star power is like what you see people who inspire and motivate people, right? People who don't try to air out other stuff, right? So source is saying tap into your strength, tap into your strength, right? Um, they like to, they like to try to set people off. They like to try to get people to be reactive by trying to air out stuff or whatever. And it, it's, it's like, you already know. So here we have, I see you being booked and busy and moving on from those types of energies and not, um, not being burdened and bitter by those types of energies, right? Those types of energies, they don't want people start to shine bright unless they assign them, like if, unless they gave them a, a, you know, but I see you're going to feel like your energy level has increased. Here's the page of wands. I feel like somebody's going to feel like that. Yeah, like a, I feel like you're going to, you're going to feel like a teenager again, because source is cooking up something nice for you and to stay away from certain types of energies and telling you to kind of hang in there with yourselves. Like, you know, um, to start dreaming bigger, your star is shining bright. Those are, these are the same types of energies that like to try to, like I said, air out people's stuff. And, but they, they want to, on one hand, like I said, they like to, it's always for them, it's a versus. It's never a common bond with people. Like they can't even bond with the fact that they're they're in human flesh, like with everybody else, because they feel like they're in, like I said, half, like a half animal, half human being. And so sources that they can't even bond with other human beings. They always complain about somebody jealous of them. They always complain. It's always something. They are always in friction mode, right? In battle with themselves, right? So sources saying you want to get away from those energies and you want to remember there's more than one star shining in the sky. They always tell them somebody's obsessed with them. Somebody's jealous of them. Somebody's you know, somebody wants to be like them and they are always comparing people to them. I mean, just like I said, to totally counterproductive, totally counterproductive. Here we have La Bruja. They like to put spells on people. That's how they put spells on people. They say the same thing over and over and over again. Oh, they, they jealous. They hating on me, you know, but look at me and look at them. Always is never a common bond as a human being like, oh, how we can align ourselves and how we can, you know, work together. Yeah. And so that's how they're able to put a spell on you by keeping you in constant, you know, uh, prideful and arrogance uh, mode, right? So here we have princes of swords, yeah. Well, other energies are living their lives, right? So that's where your breakthrough is going to come in. Your breakthrough is going to come in when you say, "Oh, okay, I see what it is. I, I see. Oh, I didn't want to see it before, but I'm actually carrying their." their arrogance you know i'm carrying their weight of their arrogance that make you arrogant but it can be guilty by association i'm carrying their arrogance i'm carrying their not seeing what their purpose is right so i'm carrying that for them so i definitely see you moving on from those energies um libra and i see you feeling like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders quite frankly i see you feeling a lot more balanced out not being around them because that's what they do. They they sit around and they talk about the same stuff about people all the time in a negative sense, right? It's nothing about helping people to adjust their crown. Everybody's jealous of them. Everybody wants their life. You know, they try to talk. They, go, they will spend more time going online, looking at people's backgrounds to see what they can use to, as a versus, like it's a battle. 
even even the musical versus battle was supposed to be bringing people together. They don't even look at it as like bringing people together for just a night of love and fun and stuff. They see it as oh, I gotta, I gotta, like a like a wild beast, like a predatory energy. They prey on people's what they believe is a weakness. So they try to air out people's past as if people haven't moved on from their past. You know the type. You know the type of energy. So. Um, here we have Ace of Swords. So I definitely see you having a breakthrough. I see you having a breakthrough with two types of situations in particular and just moving on, right? And just recognizing some people are jealous because of, you know, they don't know why they're here. And so they constantly look to see, you know, they constantly are looking for well, how can I tear other people down, right? So they're always in gossip mode. But you this you will soon learn that star power just like you know celebrities might write books and say you know they're humble beginnings like they may say i was i was raised this kind of way you all see the person i am today but they're telling the story themselves and so you know that star quality and humility like i was raised on a farm or you know i didn't have much to eat or you know i only had one pair of shoes for the whole year whatever Whatever their story is, but these types of energies that I'm saying here, because somebody's overthinking something, these types of energies like to try to air out people's life. None of us know when source is going to make your star shine bright, like what, what the energies had to go through experiences. So here we have the Hierophant card. Yeah. Um, yeah. So source is saying hang in there with yourself because... You can either learn when it comes as a whisper from source, from within, and source is saying, I need you to cut these energies off. It's two types of energies I need you to cut off. Or you can find when they cut you. So you, you have to decide. Yep, you have to decide. So I think everybody knows the type. You don't even feel good when you leave their presence because you feel like you feel bad. Like I, I don't I don't feel like I've ha helped to enhance anybody's life. I feel like I don't feel like I poured into anybody's life. I feel like this is just draining. After a while, it just gives you a headache being around those types of energies. So here we have the Ten of Cups, and this is what somebody wants to move towards. Somebody wants to move towards a different group of energies where they're pouring into you. And so some tears may have happened here with sources saying, yeah, you're tempted to vibrate on a lower frequency and go back around those types of energies. But the more and more you're around them, Libra, the more contaminated you become because our bodies are made of such a large percentage of water and just the vibration of sound. The more and more they talk, the more and more you're sitting there like, well, I don't even feel good. I feel sick. So physically, if you've been feeling sick, like they, all they do is sit around and just cut people down. All they do is want to go look up people's past. All they want to do is just like they don't, they, you know, because again, they just stand around feeling like they don't have purpose. So whatever anxiety you may have had about being around those, those two types of energies, I see you moving on from them. Because that's how they were able to put a spell on you is to keep telling you stuff. Like on one hand, they, they feel like they are pouring, they, they're pouring into you. All right. They're pouring into you. These are the types of energies that make you drink or take medication. I mean, I need to be quite honest because they're not at peace with themselves. So, yeah. So, but you have a guardian angel that's watching over you, helping you, you know, through this saying, hang in there with yourself. You, you, you trying, you trying to detach from these types of energies and they're helping you to do that. So here's the questions for the moon and Libra. You already have the questions for the moon and Virgo. Questions for the moon and Libra. So the first question is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, or harmony to the world? And then how could you amplify that? And these questions, you can actually, if, if you if you get one of the, um, if you get the, the journal and the calendar, you can actually put the moon phase on the calendar and, you know, and then a journal, kind of like how you feel. Because the moon is moving into Libra. So we're in a full moon phase right now at the time of filming. And when you watch this video, it'll be in Virgo, right? So you already have those questions for the moon in Virgo, right? And so for people who kind of want, let me give you those questions again, in case you want the questions again, before we go back to the questions for the moon and uh, Libra. So for the, the first question for the moon and Virgo is, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with the practical and objective eye? A moon in Virgo is all about not being attached to people's drama, for real. That is like, I only want to be attached to these gossiping type of energies. All they do is sit around and cut people down. I only want to be a part of that, right? 
it, it, because you could be pouring into other people. And so you got so many gifts and talents that were poured into you that's going to make you rich. Being around those types of people, trying to cut other people down and air people, thinking they're airing out people's laundry and past and all that kind of stuff. They they are, I don't want to say they will, they will do the same thing to you. They, no, it's, not, it's not even a they might. They will do the same thing to you. Um... The second question is, can you define what's yours to fix and what's not in your life? The third question for the moon in Virgo is, do you feel any fear around being fully self-sufficient and independent, independent of these types of energies? The fourth question is, how could you learn more from nature, right? And then last but not least is, could you share your free time and your energy in a valuable and charitable way? So source is saying you have a guardian angel that's really helping you to move on from these types of energies, right? So that can look like I feel like somebody may stop answering phone calls, right? I feel like somebody is, you know, in your prayer time asking God for an exodus strategy, right? You know, it's a lot of creative ways. That's why somebody's loved one is passing you the baton saying, hey, look, it's a lot of ways that you can pray your way out of this. You don't have to wait until you say something that hurts them. And then all of a sudden they airing out your laundry too, right? It doesn't really matter. Everybody has a past. But the, the, the first question for Libra, Moon and Libra, which we're coming up on is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, or harmony to the world? And then how could you amplify that? The second question is, what would happen if you were to spend more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves and these energies are not? All they do is sit around and gossip. They talk about, you know, they act like they are the bishop of everybody's life. Like they have the, they have a lock or stronghold on what people need to be leave spiritually or whatever, right? These could be your friends. These could be family members. It could be whoever it is, part of an organization or whatever. That's how they are able to put spells on people. Just like, you know, it's the spelling, spelling of words, saying the same words over and over and over again. And so sources saying you can break that spell. All you need to do is be strong because they want you to be reactive. What? Oh my God. I didn't know that. And so it's the same, but they'll do the same thing to you when your star starts shining a little brighter than they thought it was supposed to shine. Right. The, uh, the fourth question is, which small steps do, the third question is, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa, right? The fourth question is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least is, what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? See, while you're complaining with people like this, they're collecting data, information about you. So if your star shines brighter than they wanted it to shine and you have no, you have no idea how bright source is going to shine your star, all of a sudden, while you're doing all this venting and complaining, oh, now they can use it against you. They'll tell you, oh, you're getting too big for your britches, right? Those, those types of energies, right? So take a cue from your, your ancestors. You got a lot of them around you. Here we have five of wands. Somebody may feel like something is insurmountable. Like I can't, I can't just cut certain people off because what are they going to think? What are they going to say? They're going to say what they've been saying. They, they talk about everybody. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, I, you'll make the best decision. I see more money coming across your path. Here we have page of pentacles. So it's first going to come in as an idea, right? So on one hand, because you're dealing with energies that really don't, they're hurt and they're hurting other people and they don't realize how they're hurting other people by trying to air out people's stuff, you know, but they won't air out their own laundry, right? They, they want to air out everybody else's stuff. But source is saying to you, um, the saving grace here is prayer. You know, it's like, okay, I need to speak more lovingly of myself. When they're sitting around talking about people, I need to say, you know what? I got to go do something. Anything that's going to get you from being contaminated by just being in their air, being in their space, right? So you, you make the best decision for you, Libras. You make the best decision for you. All right. So let's see. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let me just make sure we got everything. Everything, everything, everything is everything. I want to make sure we got all the, um, all right. Yeah. So hopefully those questions for the moon and Libra will help you to just kind of sort of maintain balance and peace and, um, create the beautiful life that you know that you deserve. Right. And just continue to be the star that you are the Empress card. I definitely see you cutting ties with two types of energies. I definitely see you cutting ties with them. Right. And, um, and welcoming, making room for abundance and prosperity. Yeah. 
like I said, these types of energies like to compare people. So they'll try to make you feel like, oh, okay, yo, oh, we got your back. We got this, that, and the other, but at what price? What's, what's the price? We got your back as long as your star doesn't shine brighter than whoever, you know, they deem, they like, like they try to assign. Anyway, here we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I see your money growing. You have at least eight streams of income in you. And so, well, I mean, you're moving towards financial independence. That's first and foremost. And here we have the knight of pentacles, right? And, um... So I just want you to continue working hard, you know, continue working hard on yourself, continue praying, continue talking to source. But I definitely see eventually if somebody hasn't already moved on from something, source is saying, take cue, <laughs> take cue from energies. So I see you being very successful. So affirmations for success. I am attracting everything I need. I am full of highly profitable ideas. That's it. I am grounded. I am connected to my highest calling. I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. What's for me will always be for me. I am committed to my purpose. I am making necessary connections. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. I'm telling you, Source is aligning you with other stars right now, but it's also showing you how some of those same stars could have come across a lot of gossipy energies that's doing the same thing to you that was done to them. As long as their start was not, as long as they didn't recognize what their purpose was and they can keep putting spells on them and just, well, you know, you got to wait your turn and you got to do this and you got to go through this and you got to go through that. Source is the one that qualifies everybody. So that one sitting over there that people may have written off, source may say, I'm about to usher you right to the front of the line. And it's going to be a lot of people that's mad. And so, like I said, somebody's learning a very valuable lesson right now. Being a, a, a very valuable lesson. So, um, yeah. So, like I said before, it's um, two types of energies that you're parting ways with. Energies that are green with envy. And energies that are chaotic and confusing. They like to create a bunch of chaos and confusion by gossiping around people. Gossiping about people. I have the power to change my life for the better. And that's what I see you doing. That's what I see you doing. So let's see what a number is. Let's see what your number is. We're going to put some more oracle cards too. Number 10, I am ingenious. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out, right? Let's see what else we got. Oh, let me get this. Let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah. So it gives a false sense of like competition when really there is no competition on the planet, but it does these being around these types of energies, it gives a false sense of, um, a false sense of competition. So, um, when it's always been you versus you. Yep. And so if you're not operating on that frequency, love, agape love, um, um, and so you operating in agape love and aligning yourself with other stars really upsets energies that really don't feel like they have a purpose. And that's the sad part about it. It's like if God gives everybody a purpose. Yeah, your enemy's plan backfire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your enemy's fool. Your enemy's plan backfire. At first, you don't really know what your who your enemy is, right? Because it's the enemy within, right? Um, and but you, when you recognize what your demons are, you're saying, you know, you going back to that? Hell no, hell no. Bush, Bishop Bullwinkle, you're saying no. Mm -mm. Your peace is paramount. You don't want to be around gossipy energies. You do not want to be around energies who try to air people's business out. And I'm talking about directly. We're not talking about people who believe in subliminal stuff like, oh, I think they talking about me. I think they talking about that's energies they're trying to make it all about them. They they talk, I think that oh, I think they talking about you. Source is saying, no, we're talking about people who are directly, oh, you know, we, this is what we found out about someone. So they like to sit around, get on the phone, FaceTime people, do all that kind of stuff. So it's like you're getting away from those energies because they are afraid. You're a star just like Source is sending stars across your path right now. Energies that are helping people to adjust their crown. So always bet on you. Somebody's learning that right now to bet on yourself. You are protected and loved, Libra. You're protected and loved. Yep. 
Um, I think that's it. I think we have, you know, your number is 10. We also have your affirmation card. But that is what I have for you. Hopefully those questions in Libra will help you. But Source is saying get away from, you know, those types of energies. Basically, it's their way or the highway. It's hard for them to move forward in, in, in learning and adding to their spiritual belief practices. They would rather talk negatively about what other people don't know and how theirs is structured. It's always a versus for them. But it's never with the end goal of bringing people together unless they're the only star, right? Very, very narcissistic types of energies. But that's what I see for you all. And I will see you in your Motivational Monday reading. Again, this reading is for the 25th of February through the 25th of March. And remember, Pluto is about to go retrograde. So that's going to be a real serious situation going on because Pluto is a generational planet. It's the death rebirth planet. You talking about emotional roller coasters. So hold on to you talking about those roller coasters when you go to the ride and they be swinging you all off the side. That's how it's going to feel for some people because somebody is definitely already thinking like, you know, do I want to be associated with certain types of energies? Hmm. Not really. And source will make it crystal clear and plain. Do you want to be, right? And so, um, yeah, you, you're you going to have to, um, like I said, somebody will be picking a side because source is saying to you, you're expanding your spiritual knowledge. But you're, if you're around people who are trying to restrict that based on what their limited, and I can't even say their limited knowledge, it's really a control thing because I feel like, Whoever is gossiping about other people's spiritual knowledge, they are very well aware of spell work and those kind of things, right? But see, remember, you have people who pray for people and people who pray on people, right? There's a light and dark side to all energy, right? So when you are around people who are trying to control that, of your spiritual knowledge and calling everything like demonizing everything that you're trying to learn sources saying to you, you can always pray to God for clarity because there is no other human being as your God. You pray to God for clarity. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. And I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.